Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we take a look at some of the latest and not so latest Easter eggs in video games, with the only rule being they cannot have been featured on my channel before. In today's episode, we find a very familiar face in Gas Station Simulator, we take our parkour skills to the next level in Apex Legends, and we find a very small grave in Dying Light. As always, if you think you know of an easter egg that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comments section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and the best way to support this channel is by leaving a like. Not only does it apparently boost the video in the ever-confusing YouTube algorithm, but it also never fails to make me smile. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So let's begin with Apex Legends. Now when compared to the Titanfall games, the movement in Apex Legends just isn't as fluid. I mean you can basically scale a wall and that's about as much wall running as you can do in Apex. However, there is a secret spot on the Olympus map that even the most skilled Titanfall freerunners would struggle to handle. If you select Octane, you will of course have the ability to lay down jump pads which will propel whoever steps on one through the air. Well at this location on the map you can find what I think are glow sticks, seemingly marking a certain spot. If you place a jump pad here and time your leap correctly, this will happen. Ha! Hitting the eject button. <laughs> So once you land on the other side, you're greeted with the familiar sight of a Loch Ness plushie. I'm not sure if there's a backstory to this secret jump though, so if you know the story behind the epic jump, then please let me know. So up next is a game that I bet you didn't expect to see today. Dying Light is of course full of amazing and creative easter eggs, but having been well over six years since it's released, I was sure I'd seen everything it had to offer. Well, it turns out I was wrong. At this location on the map, you can find this. So this small grave was added to the game in a recent update. The name Fafik is a common name for a dog in Poland, which is of course where the Dying Light development team is based. My guess is that someone on the team lost a beloved pet and added this to the game to remember them by. It's pretty sad. Oh, and whilst we're discussing Dying Light, if you've played the game recently, you'll have probably seen the various bits of graffiti promoting the upcoming Dying Light 2, which is also quite cool. So there are tons of different simulator games currently available for you to buy. Some good, some bad, but Gas Station Simulator is perhaps one of my favorite simulator games ever. The game places you in charge of a rundown gas station, with your mission being to spruce the place up and make as much money as you can in the process. It's really addictive, with the grocery scanning minigame in particular being really fun. Of course, being a gas station owner, you're required to place orders for supplies with everything from gas, food and rubbish disposals all needing your attention. Well, I ordered a gas delivery, and this was the man who delivered it. So is it just me or does this look just like Elon Musk? It can't be a coincidence either as the rest of the NPC's faces look nowhere near as detailed as delivery driver Elon's. What do you think? Is this a bit of a reach or has Elon decided to ditch electric cars so he can pursue his dream of refueling remote gas stations? Let me know what you think. Now a game that I haven't covered as of yet in either this series or the Hidden Detail series is the brilliant Psychonauts 2. Now I'm still making my way through the game, so expect to see more of it in future videos, but for today's video, I have one of the strangest easter eggs I've ever seen. After completing Hollis's hot streak, head back to that level and do this. This is about to erupt out of your psychic uterus! What? You're doing really, really well, Raz. I don't 
need to hear that. Mia, I need that clown makeup. I'm almost done. Quickly, Raz, kiss this piglet's behind. Lobato is almost defeated for good. Why don't I remember any of this? You want to remember this? No. That's what I thought. Push. Not that dream again. So if you throw the pen at the neon sign, a video will play of main character Raz, who is male by the way, being rushed into hospital as he is giving birth. Again, Raz is male. This is probably one of the strangest easter eggs I've ever seen. So back in episode 43 of this very series, we unearthed some cool easter eggs in There's a Butcher Around, a game where you have to hide from an escaped serial killer until he has killed everyone except you. The thing is, to see the easter eggs in There's a Butcher Around, you do need to be killed by the butcher, which can sometimes be surprisingly difficult. Anyway, the first easter egg can be found on the sick tower level, and requires you to be killed whilst hiding in the hospital bed. So this little fella that's left on the bed as your character is dragged to who knows where is a reference to the chest bursting aliens from the Aliens movies. Up next on the party hard level, if you hide in the claw machine, this will happen. So even before your character is slaughtered, you can spot the little green men in the machine and when you do meet your maker, Buzz Lightyear appears to join the party. I mean, it probably doesn't need saying, but these are of course characters from the Toy Story movies. The final easter egg in the deadliest game of hide and seek ever can also be found on the party hard level. <laughs> So this arcade cabinet is of course a reference to the super gory Mortal Kombat series. If by chance any of you have played There's a Butcher Around and have found any other references, then please let me know. So I'm not really up to date with my Yandere Simulator news, but after covering the Lady Dimitrescu easter egg in the game, a lot of you mentioned that Yandere Dev, that's the person developing the game, is spending more time adding easter eggs to Yandere Sim instead of actually finishing the game. Well if you're one of those people, you might want to look away now, and as here are three more easter eggs that Yandere Dev added to the game instead of finishing the game. First up in the debug menu, if you activate 47 mode, this will happen. So your character will now resemble Agent 47 of the Hitman series, complete with a barcode on the back of their head. Oh, and the song that plays when you're dressed as 47 is Ave Maria, which was used as the theme song for Hitman Blood Money. Next up, if you select Hunger Mode, this will happen. So this is Six from Little Nightmares. Rather fittingly, to activate this easter egg in the debug menu, you have to press the number 6 on your keyboard. Finally, if you select bad time mode, you will become this. Whoever did this is gonna pay! So this is of course Sans from Undertale. As you can see, Sans is able to use psychokinesis, which is a great way to relieve some stress. So that's it. As mentioned, if you know of any easter eggs that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comments section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Remember, if you are a fan of easter egg secrets and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.